Hey guys and welcome to Petroped and welcome to the start of a little bit of an adventure in a simply epic car. I'm on my way to the Cotswolds for a drive and dine event with SEC private members and unbelievably I'm going to be doing it in a Superformance GT40 thanks to my incredible friends at Le Mans Coupes. That's my ride for the next 48 hours. Now I am going for a bit of gun and run style on this video, but I thought I would quickly walk you around the car. This is the car I actually drove at Le Mans Coupes last year. It is a Superformance GT40 Mark 1. It's absolutely stunning thing. Uh, GT40, it gets its name from the height. So from kind of there to the ground, yep, 40 inches. It's a tiny, tiny thing. We just open the passenger compartment. It's really very, very snug in there i just about fit in but it's a very special and very cool car i can't quite actually believe that it's parked on my driveway a uh, thunderous v8 in the back we will hear that very very shortly now the big challenge is uh hmm, there's a big engine in the back and there are radiators in the front luggage luggage where's the luggage going ah oh no i've got an idea the luggage is going in here <laughs> but yes look at that what a thing and as if by magic a few minutes later i have packed <laughs> so i've got a bag in there and a bag in the footwell i've set my cameras up two cameras on the screen there and one camera just there I reckon they're ready to go. And the sun's come out, which is a total bonus. Now then, one thing to be said about GT40s is they weren't really designed for people of my stature. Just watch your head as you get decapitated. But it is a very cool startup procedure, so um, important things is to put the old racing harnesses on, which always gives you a sense of theatre and a sense of drama. Although actually on the public road, they are a little bit of a pain. That'll do. Next important thing, steering wheel. Uh, anti theft measures on this car are excellent you basically take the steering wheel off and uh, take the battery isolator switch out and take the ignition key in and that's it you are all secure so we turn the key blowers on uh, hit that hit the start button that's it off we go dog leg box and brake off Now then, so we get on the road and I'll tell you what our plans are. And I'm not sure how much you're going to be able to hear me, but the sense of occasion in this car is just like no other car I've ever been in. It's just off the charts, absolutely off the charts. So 127 miles, it's not the most comfortable car for me. I'm in the, the thinnest seat they do. You can move the pedals back, but we didn't have time to do that. So I'm a little bit crouched up. And then I've also, I think I'm just gonna play it safe with fuel because I actually filled the car up with fuel last night and it's only showing just under three quarters of a tank so i'll report back in a little while <laughs> the plan is we're driving to a hotel called the fish which just happens to be run by my best mate i actually drove to one of its sister hotels 
Fox Hill Manor uh, about 18 months, two years ago now with Mrs. Petrol Pen when we borrowed a 992 Carrera 4S Cabriolet. But we've got a drive and dine event this evening with SCC private members. We've got a whole range of supercars arriving. We're going to go out for about a 40 minute drive, or sorry, 40 mile drive, and then have a nice barbecue afterwards. And then I'm staying over and coming back tomorrow. Very cool. Ninety 
99.9 a litre. Ah! Maybe, uh, maybe I should have come up in the Akana. <laughs> that would have been a much, much more sensible plan. Because this is going to be an expensive trip in terms of fuel. Woohoo! Ah, yes. My little bit of luxury just for one evening. Titania. Now then, let me just put my bag down. <laughs> Mega security measure. I have the wheel of the GT40, so nobody can steal it. Let's just have a quick look where we're staying, shall we? Because this is pretty special. There we go. Oh, look at this. So we've got a little seating area, a little wood burner, shower, hello, oh, bed, and bath. But also, open this, got an outside area with a hot tub. I mean, that's just winning. The car park is at the top of a very big hill with lots of steps, but we are all basically gathered together. I'm now gonna get lots of people looking at me. Let's have a quick rundown of the cars that have joined us for tonight's Drive and Dine. It's a beautiful 992 Turbo S in crayon. Very lovely. Now, actually, I think we've got two of these. One of them you will recognize from the GT Tours tour. Lovely Lamborghini. The guys from Anthony James Cars are here as well. They bought this lovely F-Type R V8 rear wheel drive cab. Very nice AMR Pro. Oh, DBS Superleggera. Now, maybe the smallest car here, my one. It was an interesting drive over. Uh, we've got a V12 Vantage. We've got an 812. Oh, man, it's all super. That's very nice. GT3. Uh, 570. And recognize that car? Recognize those plates? Where is he? Where's the legend? He's running away from me. Hold on a minute. GT Tours gang, Hello. come on! <laughs> Hold on, he's running away. Legend! I've just ran on camera. <laughs> hey, my buddy doing, John. Mate? All right, mate? Yeah, very well. Good. Very well. Ooh, ready for a bit of a drive out? Make some noise? I'm ready to see you getting in that car. It's easier to get in than a NASCAR, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I've missed that as well. So we are ready to drive out, I think. Woo! Now the new tube sat next to me is one of my best buddies in the whole wide world, Andrew. You've never uh, actually been on petrol bed. You've been in no, petrol bed in I the have. car. I have. Off camera, but Yeah, first for me. Yeah. We've yeah. filmed low to your cars. Yes, I've had a few. <laughs> Mini Clubman. Uh Harker BMW. KN. KN oh when we got the KN yeah, stuff, that was funny. Stuck in a field. Yeah. So we are currently now driving out of uh, the estate over your very massive speed bumps. Yeah, sorry about those. I'll get, them, right. re I'll get them removed for next time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Right to complaint. We have a good selection of cars. We have an Aston Martin Vantage V12 in front of us and a Lamborghini Huracan in front of that. What have we got behind? DBS Superleggera behind me. does on these uh, drive outs we've got a route that's about 40 miles um, and they publish a route on Google Maps so we've all got Google Maps running on our phones we've also got walkie-talkies uh, and then we've got my mate Marcus out with his camera and his drone no doubt somewhere to get some nice pictures
visceral experience. It's very visceral. That's a very good word to describe this car, to be fair. Very. behind the GT40 I'm really sorry for the fireworks and popping and banging. That was good. That was really good. So the main man's joined us. Now in the car, we were talking about how how me, you, and Andrew are inextricably linked. Yes. So Andrew helped me grow my page by access to his cars, but then you gave him a wraith. Yep. Um, many many years. Many ago. moons, five and a half years ago. Beginning a pet. Uh, Andrew asked Brad if I could drive the car. I was allowed to drive the car. We then met. We did loads of stuff with. Rolls Royce and look at us now, man. Should we walk and talk while no we're going? So obviously, um, the the um, GT40, by the way, that thing is just so antisocial. It makes frightening. So hot, it pops flames all the time. I made a big mistake putting a hoodie on before I got in it. So we'll walk down. We've got a lovely. You can't see the back of your shirt. Do you have an AMR Pro? Yeah, beautiful. Um, John in his uh, GTR. Yep. AMG, very nice. I love that crayon. Oh, Turbo amazing. 911. Beautiful. New beautiful. Mando as well. Uh, excellent. Uh, guys from Anthony James brought that down. That, that will have been a beast. Yeah, that's for sale. <laughs> Hello. Uh, that's beautiful. What a spec DBS Superleggera that is. I didn't see that when I did my rundown before. I love a 600 LT in, in McLaren Orange. In McLaren Orange. I mean, come on. Super fast. Super beautiful. Super oh, fast. Mega. Another GTR. Two GTRs. Um, Hurricane Evo. Yep. Uh, GT3. Yep. 
and a 570S. Hey, good turn. And, and the Queen Bee, the Queen Bee's all the way over there. Um, but yeah, should we go down and have some barbecue? Yes. So this is that. So we've done our drive out. We've all been very well behaved. Mm -hmm. Only got lost a little bit. And now we've got to go down, have a barbecue uh, and have a few beers because I'm staying over and I don't have to drive till tomorrow. You've got a meeting early morning, mate. So. I have, mate. I know. <laughs> I'll tell you about that a bit later on. Right, let's go and get the rest of the stuff from the car. Barbecue. Down here, what do we got, brothers? Nothing vegetarian, man. I'm afraid. Oh, big sausages. Can you have sausages? Big burgers, chicken. Yeah, I'm flexitarian now. <laughs> yes. Right, I'm hungry. The lesser spotted John Beer Monster is now buying beer from the beer stand. But actually, my life is saved because, apart from the fact. I'm drinking beer with John. Oh, yes. Um, this is all that's left. Everyone's gone home. Hey. Yeah. So this is. So this is. This is what happens at the end of. You get rid of everyone. Normally, mate, we've got members here all night. So it must be you. Do you reckon? Is it me? If I've done something wrong? It's you. They're they're fa they're fading your camera. Well, I I thought. And to be a session on. That's why I booked myself a room. <laughs> I'm the only one staying. <laughs> I could have saved myself like loads of cash. <laughs> anyway, but no, I can't because I'm doing something very special at two o'clock this morning. Well, what a brilliant evening that was. Now I'm back inside my hideaway hut here at the fish. Now, um, Although I am now full-time YouTube, I still maintain some of my old job, my old teaching. Uh, and I've got a brilliant client of mine and I do some work with them. Uh, and once a month, I do an online training course for a client of theirs in Singapore, all about 5G. And bad timing, <laughs> the next one of those I've got to do is tomorrow morning um, at two o'clock in the morning because of the Singapore time difference. So I've got two three hour sessions, uh, one starting at uh, two o'clock tomorrow morning, the other starting at seven. So uh, it's now uh, 11 o'clock. Uh, so I'm gonna jump in bed, I'm gonna get a couple of hours of kip, uh, and then I'm gonna do some online training and then uh, chill out tomorrow a little bit and then drive back home. Uh, but um, I thought it might be funny for you guys to see what I look like tomorrow morning after I've done this online training. And also, um, you know, at the end of the day, um, YouTube is one of those things. Um, I'm now very, very lucky and fortunate enough to create content and, and do that for a living, but I still need to kind of maximize my earnings and, and I like to keep lots of irons in lots of fires just in case. So, you know, when you see the glamorous side of things, me out and about driving lovely cars like I've done today with the GT40 and hanging around with some amazing people and some beautiful cars and eating lovely food in this incredible venue, uh, I'm still, after a full day's work, I'm going to have like two and a half hours skip and then work through the night. So yeah, don't want any sympathy or anything, but I thought you might be quite interested and uh, enjoy seeing the state of me tomorrow. Anyway, I need to get some shut eye. I'll see you in... Well, I might see you in a couple of hours time. And then this is what five to two in the morning looks like. <laughs> I've had a few hours sleep. I'm fresh as a daisy meat, but I'm basically set up. I'm now connected to Singapore. I've actually got two laptops on the go, um, just in case. Um, all's good. The class can hear me. I've checked that. Uh, it's nine o'clock in the morning in Singapore. It's two o'clock in the morning here in the Cotswolds. This is the life of a YouTuber, or certainly me, that you don't see. All work and no play makes Ped a very dull boy. Finished with that, time for breakfast. It's now about half past 10. I finished my training. It went really well. I managed to get uh, about an hour's kit between sessions, which is good. Uh, and now I'm just about hopefully in time to make breakfast they do the best breakfast here in the world ever it's a beautiful sunny day for me to head back to drop the car off at Le Mans Coupe's massive thank you to Oliver and Nigel at Le Mans Coupe's for trusting me with their GT40 for the last 48 hours a brilliant event with SEC last night really great drive out as well had such a fun time but I hope you enjoyed that one bit different slightly different type of content if you did give me a thumbs up 
Comments below are always welcome. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to Petroped for plenty more content to come. Wow, look at this day. God, I'm going to enjoy the drive back. Anyway, guys, I'll see you on the next film. You take care. Drive safe. Now then, where's our breakfast? Absolutely starving. Before you go, lesson learned whenever you're driving a GT40. I got all the way to the car, which is at the very top of that hill, and realised I'd left something very important in my room. I've checked out and everything, so I'm having to head back down to my room, which is down the bottom of the hill, to get something really important to enable me to drive the car home. Bet you can't guess what I left in my room. Right, should we try this again? Back down the hut, the road. Now then, uh, here it is. The important thing. Yeah, not gonna get very far without that. What a plonker. <laughs>